Could you just lead us through what the arm situation is and was and, and where you're at with, with that? Yeah, you know, it was, it was a big time game and uh, I felt something tighten up um, on the mound and, you know, just for precautionary reasons early in the season, um, we kind of talked and decided, you know, there's, there's no point to risk it. You know, obviously the, the, the only game that matters is the last one of the season. And so just making sure that I'm ready and, and, and healthy for the, you know, down the stretch instead of pushing it right now and, you know, maybe something else happens. So um, we're just being precautionary at the moment, you know, just, just figuring things out. Is like forearm or like, or like yeah, around, around the forearm, yeah. you know, in, in that area, it's kind of hard to, to dictate. Sometimes yeah, it's yeah. it's a little sore to moves around, yeah. but um, something yeah. something along those lines. It's the first time you had felt it, uh, I guess, during training or all season. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you feel little, you know, tweaks and stuff yeah. every once in a while, but um, you know, that that was uh, first time I felt that, I guess. But you know, it's just precautionary at this point, and, you know. Just making sure everything's all right. Yeah. Are you gonna throw this week or next week, or what's the plan moving forward? Uh, you know, Skip's kind of pushing me back a little bit, making sure that I'm I'm healthy. So at this point, I don't think I'm gonna throw this week, but um, just getting me built back up. You know, I didn't throw for a couple days and, uh, to make sure, but I threw down there and um, you know it was feeling all right. So you know, we're just just working on getting our way back up. So I don't think this weekend, but hopefully next week would would be the the best case of action. So you threw after that game in Texas, just like uh, side sessions or whatever? When we got back. Okay. When we got back, okay. yeah. And what's the, I don't, I wouldn't describe it as rehab, but what are you doing to, you know, whatever you're doing behind the scenes to, to yeah. get back? I guess strengthening is strengthening. like the main thing. Yeah. Um, you know, just strengthening and uh, getting everything strong. Because obviously, you know, stuff pops up. If you're a baseball pitcher, then, you know, stuff is going to happen. And you kind of just have to accept that. And so just doing everything I can to, to prevent as many things in the future as possible. And, you know, just getting strong, getting healthy, and getting to feel good. It's kind of a bummer because you were throwing so you had thrown so well. You had a yeah. great debut. How would you assess your first two games and, and how things go? Otherwise? You know, it was it was awesome. I mean, to pitch to even get the opportunity to pitch in a game like that was incredible. Um, and you know, the the biggest thing that I, I took away from it is you know when I had to come out of the, the game with that is you know all the support and everything that I got from the fans, from my teammates, from from all the the, the bystanders was incredible. You know, just see how many people are, are behind us as, as Beaver baseball and to see how many people are behind me was was really cool. And so just to get that opportunity and. Um, you know, obviously it's unfortunate. You don't you don't want to have to come out of a game like that, especially you know a, a big game like that. But you know it is what it is, and you, you live with it, and you you move on. Your slider's been got got some rave reviews for that that game against Arkansas. Yes, what has the evolution of that pitch been like? Um, you know that's kind of always been my pitch. I've always been able to, to spin the, the breaking ball pretty well. Um, you know I've I've had to to make some adjustments to it over the years. Um, I've dropped my my slot a little bit from from high three quarters to low three quarters, and it's able to get around the ball a little bit more. And um, you know slowly I've just thrown it harder and harder. Um, and so you know being able to keep the movement while throwing it harder, I guess has, has been able to blend into how good it's become. And um, you know that's my my favorite pitch to throw. That's my my best strikeout pitch. And you know that's just kind of I guess my pitch overall. What was it like facing that? Lineup. Um, you know, I kind of take every lineup as, as the same. You know, I'm not thinking too much about individual hitters. Obviously, I have my scattering reports and everything, but I don't think too deeply about you know guys that I'm facing, whether they're going to be you know a first rounder, or a 20th rounder, or, you know, not selected or whatever it might be. Um, so I'm just going to you know have my approach and I'm going to stick to it and not really worry about the crowd, not really worried about you know who I'm facing and just go out there and pitch. Yeah.